Hello friends! Long time no vlog. I keep starting vlogs and then just straight up not finishing them because I feel like the content isn't interesting because I'm not doing much or I don't know. Um, I don't know if anyone else is feeling like this lately during this pandemic but for me it doesn't really feel like it's not Groundhog Day like it doesn't feel like every single day is the same because there's variation within each day and you know I have different things that happen on different days of the week you know like Mondays and Wednesdays is Spanish class Thursdays is a big meeting day Fridays we usually get takeaways or something I don't know so there's variation there but for me it's feeling like Groundhog Week where the weeks just seem to be on repeat and it's really getting to me I think because a week is kind of a long time you know and um, to have that feel that repetitive just reminds me how long we've been in this situation and it really sucks. Um, I know that I have it relatively extremely good. I'm extremely fortunate, like fared very well throughout this whole thing. Still got my job, job is stable, company is doing well, you know I'm not having to worry about that which means I'm not having to worry about finances. Um, I was already working from home before the pandemic so I didn't really have that as an adjustment to my routine. I don't have kids so I'm not having to, to like deal with them being home from school or anything like that like a lot of my co-workers, friends are. So you know all around I just feel like I don't have anything to complain about really but just everyone in the world right now is in a shitty situation and um, just because some people have it worse doesn't mean that you know those of us who maybe have it better can't also feel frustrated or you know feel down sometimes you know um so I've sort of been dealing with that lately of like feeling frustrated and like stuck in a rut and then feeling annoyed at myself or feeling frustrated and stuck in a rut this mean a whole cycle I'm determined to actually vlog today though so I hope that you end up seeing this and that this doesn't end up as just another vlog that stays on my memory card and never gets finished or edited um it's Tuesday and I spent the weekend at Mark's parents place so that was nice to have a bit of a change of scenery you know I took some days off work as well because I was really like like I said feeling this rough thing and I just needed a break from my routine um read a lot of books over the weekend so that was really fun but yeah back to it this week I'm feeling a lot more inspired which is good so yeah if anyone else is feeling stuck like I was try and think of some way to shake up your routine and do something different I'm definitely like it's a lesson that I'm going to try and take in to the weeks ahead to always have like something to look forward to or like some variation in the weeks um, otherwise I know it's really gonna get to me. Just to give you a quick update on um, how things are in Spain at the moment cases are rising honestly which is not great uh, since things have opened up again and just recently it was mandated that you have to wear a mask anywhere in public previously if you could keep like two meters distance from someone and um, it was right to take the mask off so like for example I'd wear my mask to the park and then while I was going for my walk and could very easily keep distance from people I would take it off so I could like breathe the nice fresh air which is kind of the point of going for a walk for me. But now you have to keep the mask on the whole time which is not fun but I understand it's necessary. Um, it's just a sign though of you know the fact that we're not through this and we're not over this yet you know. So I'm sort of like settling in for the long haul you know um, realizing that I'm gonna deal with this struggling with the mundanity is that a word <laughs> of the weeks for a long time to come and so it's my problem to solve. I am about to go and make a coffee. Um, I just did my workout for the day and my legs feel a little like jelly. I've been doing the bar three which is like an online bar studio classes workouts um, and I love them. I would highly recommend. I'm not an affiliate or anything like that but um, yeah would, would definitely recommend as an at-home workout thing. Um, it's kind of late in the day so I'm gonna just make an espresso today instead of making my AeroPress. Sorry to all the coffee snobs. I also just remembered that um, I got a package this morning, so let's open it, because honestly I'm not sure what I ordered. <laughs> oh! More coffee. This is the brand of a YouTuber who you might be surprised to find out I watch. Um, his name is Jack Septakai and he plays through video games. Mark and I have been watching him play Animal Crossing and lately we've been watching him play um, Last of Us 2. And yeah, this is um, his coffee brand. It smells really good. I'm excited to try this. Anyway, enough coffee talk. <laughs> Time to um, get on with the work day. It's kind of in, I don't know, we're ramping up for an extremely busy quarter at work. And right now I don't feel like 
um, I don't know, it's, it's, we're sort of at the beginning of a lot of projects and I just know that things are gonna get real hectic, real fast uh, with all of this. So I'm um, just trying to like get things sorted and try and make this quarter go as smooth as possible. That was all really vague and probably not very interesting, was it? But um, let me get into it and I'm sure I'll find something interesting that I'll show you that I'll work on today. <laughs> really freaking hot here in Spain today. It's only 29 degrees right now, but it's gonna get up to like 32 today. But it's warm, it's very humid also. That's that's not at all related to what I was gonna say, but hey. Um, I've been trying out a mechanical keyboard. This one is Mark's. Not for any sort of ergonomic purposes or like typing speed purposes, mostly because I've seen some really cool pictures of like pastel keyboards online and I just think it looks so cool. And basically if I can have something that's gonna look cute, I want it <laughs> and so I'm trying to um, see if I can get used to using mechanical keyboards so that I could buy one and like do customized keycaps and fun things like that I know that's not the reason you're supposed to use a mechanical keyboard but hey it's going sort of well so far it's kind of weird to get used to after how flat you know the Apple one is um, but I feel like with it I don't know if it's just placebo because I know I'm meant to be able to but I feel like I can type better without looking at the keys I don't know if you've ever noticed in my vlogs when I'm filming the way I type that I do not type properly I type with like three fingers I can type pretty fast but it's absolutely not like how you're taught to type in school and things like that um, I don't know just wanted to let you know this is what I'm trying out at the moment don't know for sure yet if I'm gonna go with it but I'm um, continuing to do my test <laughs> All right, I want to show you some of the design work that I'm getting into for the afternoon. My morning was mostly spent on like strategy, research type stuff. Um, I've been finding myself doing more and more of that lately and I think it's just a product of like progressing in my career as a designer that I'm like, you know, involved in more of that sort of stuff now and not just pushing pixels around all day. Um, also, sorry if it's loud, I've got the window open because um, like I said before, it's, it's quite hot. I'm sure actually me saying that it's, it's 31 degrees right now is like not actually hot for some places but it is very humid here in, in the city so I don't know I don't know why I'm feeling like I have to justify the fact that I'm feeling hot to you let's look at the design so this is a wireframe that I've made for a, a landing page about our free plan so there's two different main plans for ConvertKit at the moment a free plan and a complete plan the complete plan has like all of the features that you see on our site the free plan has honestly most of them, but there's a couple that doesn't. And our ads team has been finding that they really need one page to direct people to that just talks about ConvertKit's free plan and what's included. And it's like specifically catered to people we know will suit the free plan, not people for the complete one, if that makes sense. So yeah, this is a wireframe that I've put together. Um, and ever since my own podcast series, actually, I've learned something from my own show, how like big headed is that? But um, uh, Inside Marketing Design, my series where I'm interviewing marketing designers at other tech companies, if you haven't checked it out yet, then I'll leave it on a card, go have a look, because I'm really proud of it and how that series has been turning out. It's also been the thing taking up a lot of my energy recently, honestly, when it comes to content creation. But in the episode that I did with Johnny from Webflow, he talked about the fact that designers need to be able to write their own copy. And um, I've never been, well, not gonna say never. I'm sure earlier in my career I used Laura Mipsum a lot. But in the past four years of my career, I feel like I've always tried to write like useful dummy copy, if that makes sense. And you've probably seen examples of it in some of my past videos. For this project though, I decided to take things a step further and instead of like writing my useful dummy copy, um, I've written, well, tried to write some actual copy. I don't know if it's what will end up on the page, it's probably not. But um, yeah, it was a good experience for me as I went through and created this wireframe which um, is using pieces from other designs which is why it's not looking super wireframey. But yeah, I need to go through and refine this a lot, especially this section. What is going on here? This is hella ugly. Uh, and uh, yeah, get things ready for some real copy to come on in. So that's my plan for the afternoon. <laughs> About nine minutes 
starts our marketing team meeting for the week. So this is basically the end of the like, you know, physical work that I'm going to do today. I didn't get as far as I wanted to on the landing page, but I started thinking through some things like what imagery style to go here, which made me think that maybe I want a little demo video for each point. I don't know, not sure yet. Um, and then, yeah, trying a few different options for this hero imagery. And okay, this here, tell me if you do this too, if you use Figma. I know they have a commenting feature and I could just like leave a comment with a note to myself, but I prefer to write giant, <laughs> like bold messages at the side of a canvas to remind myself of things to do with the project. Um, so this right here is a list of tests that I think we should run with this page. A few years ago we ran a test of having navigation on a landing page versus just like a logo that linked to the homepage. And we found that no navigation converted better. I do, like from a user experience perspective, we want to make sure people have an option to find the information they want. So I am putting a footer on this page. Um, but yeah, I think it'd be interesting to test this when we run ads to it for navigation versus no navigation and see how that performs. We also want to test a bunch of messaging for the headline. So basically use the ads we run as a chance to test which messaging connects. So yeah, we'll have different ad messaging and then we'll swap out the heading on the page to match the ad messaging. And then photo versus app, this is my idea for testing. Like, do we want something like this versus something more like, you know, this sort of thing that's more of like a product illustration. I don't know yet. I got a bit waylaid with some other things, but um, all in all, I feel like it's been a productive day and I'm excited for our meeting to chat through some things on the marketing team. I feel like my eyesight during this quarantine, even though it's not the quarantine anymore, I just keep calling it that, um, has worsened. <laughs> um, when I got my new glasses, oh, what was it, like a year and a half ago, something like that, I don't know. Um, I remember the optometrist saying to me, you need to take more breaks from looking at a screen and like look off into the distance. It's like the 20, 20, 20 rule or whatever. Like every 20 minutes you should look 20 feet away for 20 seconds to give your eyes like a break and like um, stretch them, I suppose. Haven't been doing that and I feel like I need a stronger prescription already. <sighs> it's my own fault. She told me to do it and I didn't do it. So I might have to look into that. Anyway, time to get a quick drink of water and go into a meeting. I did it again. I forgot to end the vlog on the actual day I was filming it. It's Thursday now, so um, we've skipped a day. But hey, um, the good thing is that um, missing some time means I can show you a bit of an update to this page before I end the vlog. So it's probably looking pretty similar to what we had last time, but um, and I think I showed you already that instead of icons, I decided to do these little illustrations. I've been working on the main image. Um, so we started out with this. Um, but I felt like the like hero content was a little, there's a little bit too much going on. And so I've done this one, which is a bit more toned down, subdued colors. Um, that way the color picker stands out more, which just kind of looks cool. And to me, this is like a universal sign that like you can customize stuff, right? Having a color picker. I don't know if anyone else thinks that way, but um, that's what I'm intending with that anyway. I also had to get rid of this like green bar graph because I want to use that for the purchases part um, and so so as not to be confusing I've put in this graph which shows like a you know rising trend of a growing audience I hope that's my intention with it anyway but yeah this is where I've got to I've been these are all drafts but I've been starting to figure out what they're gonna be I think that see if this one here this little illustration has sort of not actual text on it it's just like lines representing text I think that's what these little side ones need to be so like this text is fine, but this text is way too small when you zoom out. So I want that to be sort of like bars instead. I'm figuring out this style as I go, you know, with these little illustration mock-ups. This sort of style of, of icon is what I was going for, where it's like, it, it's pieces of our app and it like looks like our app, but it's a much more stylized way of doing things. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm aiming for here. And this is where the page is at. This is new, this section here. I just did this this morning, actually. I think it's better than what I had before, which was this 
like a long list this is kind of nice just to call out the zero dollars you know um, have the button and all the stuff there and it's closer aligned to what we have on our pricing page as well so yeah i'm excited with how this page is coming together it's been moving very quickly anyway i'm going to end this vlog here now before i forget again um, and also before my meeting which is in about um, eight minutes time so thank you for watching i am going to be uploading videos like this every now and then um, over the next couple months as inside marketing design is still going out that's my main focus on my channel right now is getting that content out that first series that should be wrapped up in september so yeah there's another i think six or so episodes that i've got um got to go seven i can't remember but like i said every now and then i'm gonna put other videos up as well um like this vlog and you might have seen a couple of weeks ago i did a video about the build of my font store if you're interested in that i'll link the video on the card and you can go check out my font itself at charliemarie.store i would love for you to have a look it makes me happy every time i see a purchase order come through for that font because i am so proud of it and it's even better when i get to see people using it so yeah that's pretty fun thank you for watching this vlog i'm sure it was a mess i've got to get my vlogging mojo back you know and get back into the habit of it but i hope you enjoyed seeing what i'm up to anyway and um yeah just those thoughts on the state of mind that i've been in feeling so much better th this week it's amazing i'm so glad i took those days off last week i've just like found enjoyment in my work again which is good because it really sucked to lose that you know uh, and feel feel down about it anyway thanks for watching hope you have had a good week and i will see you in my next video bye